Okay, this is the um, uh, second kind of HTML video. In the first one, we looked at how we were going to add favicons onto HTML. And if I just have a look at my basic page here, we've got heading, and you can see there's a header up here. We've got a lower heading size. We've got some basic paragraph size. We've added an image and a link. So it's not a very complicated page. Now, I'm writing this in HTML on Ubuntu, so I'm going to use a program which is called Text Editor. But it's exactly the same layout if you're using a PC. The only difference is that you use a program called Notepad. So in here, we can see my um, index.html in my first page. And if you just have a quick look down the page, you can see starting the HTML or closing the HTML, remembering always to close tags. This link here is the link that tells the computer, or tells the browser rather, to look for the favicon and that links to the folder that my index.html is saved in and you can see that that's what it's called, it's called myicon.png now what we want to do is we want to set a CSS page up so we want to add some content style sheets onto it so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a link from the index.html to the CSS page even though I haven't made it yet because that way we can just focus on one page at a time so the first thing we're going to do I'm going to add in a link. I'm going to say the link is relative to the style sheet. And that the type is going to be equal to text CSS. So basically it's a text document written in CSS. The href, so this is just like when we made the link here. It's just a reference to where it is. So it's going to be in the same folder as I use my uh, punctuation correctly and it's going to be called main.css and uh, I'm going to close that tag and I'm going to save it and I'm basically finished with the HTML page for now so I'm going to close that one and I'm going to create a new document so basically the new document we're going to save into the same folder and we're going to give it the name which is main.css And we're going to press save. So we've now got a uh, content style sheet. But the content style sheet at the moment isn't doing anything. So what we now need to do is we need to actually put some uh, code in here so it has something to do. And basically, within this, there's a, a few things. So if I start with the first one, if I want to apply um, a content or a style to the headers, uh, I could say I want the H1 headers, so the largest headers. So that's a selector. And then I want to um, a property and so I want to say that the color of H1 you notice the American spelling rather than the British spelling here um, should be blue if I want to add another property in I can use a semicolon so I could say that, uh, that I also want the text to be aligned in the center but at the moment I'm only doing this for H1 so at this point I can close that and as long as I save that and I refresh this page, you should see that that's gone blue, but it hasn't gone to the center. So let's just have a look, quick look and see why that hasn't gone to the center. Ah, let's look at my spelling. So again, I've used the British spelling and I need to change that to the American spelling. So I'm going to save that and refresh the page. And you can see that the heading has now shifted to the center. This is good because on a content style sheet, we can set one content style sheet for multiple HTML pages. Which means that if I then expand this um, page later to have multiple pages, all my headings written with H1 will be centered and blue. So it gives consistency across the site. If I want to start to break my page up a little bit more, so I apply formatting to it, then I need to do that slightly differently. What I want to do now is I want to go back to the index, and now I want to start to put divisions into my page. So the way I would normally do this is I would say, um, after the header, so let's start here, we can create a division class, which we're going to call a container doesn't really matter what it's called, just as as remember it. So for me, the container is going to contain everything, basically, that's on the page. And at the bottom of the page, as always, I'm going to close my tag. 
It might be that some of the writer we want to be in a different bit. It could be the heading section we want to create a new division class. But for now I'm going to keep it simple, so I'm just going to use division class container. So we're going to press save. I'm going to go back onto my CSS page. And now I can not just use the um, selector h1, I can now start to use the selector which I've just created. And in this case, because I called it container, I can do dot container. And I can apply some formatting to everything in there. So I can say that I want the color of the text in there to be red. And I want all the text to be aligned in the center. Trying this time to remember to use the American spelling. I'm going to press save and I'm going to refresh it. Now there's a couple of interesting things here. You'll know first of all everything notice sorry first of all that everything has gone central but you'll notice the header one hasn't gone and the reason for that is if we look back at the CSS here we're applying this formatting first to the headings so that's got priority and then underneath that everything that's in the container goes red. So we can start to look at kind of setting up um, kind of a hierarchy of what happens. If we want to make new divisions, so if I want, if I had a navigation bar on here, I might say that I wanted the nav bar to be a different color. So we could set a different color for the text on that. We could call that one something like dark blue. Okay. Um, and, and we can start to expand it. We don't have to do this very quickly. We can build them up little bit by little bit. We can also start to add in different attributes, so we can start to put in things like the font size. So for me this is a really key one, because h1 to 6 stay consistent throughout the page, but at this point we can start to change them. So if I add in a font size, then all the font on the site that's in h1 will now become whatever size I put here. So I'm going to put size 50 pixels. Again, I'm going to need to make sure I save that. Okay, and again, I can refresh this page, and you can see now the heading started to grow. And, and this is really the basics of how we do this. And, and you can look up some of the different codes, but the main bit is creating a link in the index that tells us to look for the style sheet, creating a new page, which we call main CSS, and then looking to use the selectors, and you can see those again, the HTML, so the, they're things like the H1, the H2, or the divisions that we've started to create, and then we apply the formatting to those sections. Okay, I hope this has started to get you a little bit of an insight into how we can use CSS.